Okay, so now we are going to map out how the user will flow through our application. Uh, as you can see, I've gone ahead and copied over the pages that we came up with during our planning phase and pasted them into a blank Illustrator file that we are going to use for our user flow wireframe. For this wireframe, we are going to be using my uh, user flow wireframe kit which is available as part of the course bundle, which you can find at mckinseychild.me slash courses. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to copy a few of these templates. The idea here isn't to get one that matches perfectly. It's just to get one that represents uh, the various pages. And then we can figure out how the user is going to navigate between the various pages. So I'm just going to grab one of these for the home page. Uh, let's see what else. We're going to need the home page, the post, the projects, and the contact. So I'll grab one of these for the contact page. This one for the home page. Let's see, what could we use for the post page? Maybe this one for the projects. Uh, let's just use those for now. I'm just going to go back here and paste those in. Let me zoom out and line those up. All right, and I've gone ahead and created a simple little uh, grid, uh, which is again available to download in the show notes. Uh, just find the link below. So I'm going to edit this one a bit doesn't quite represent how I want the home page to be, so I'm just gonna tweak it slightly because we're not gonna have a video on it. Um, on the home page, I want to have the navigation, so the logo, navigation, and then I want a it to be very content focused. So I was thinking just having a little about section uh, and then the three latest posts and the three latest projects. So for that, let's go ahead and delete that. This looks good, but I'm gonna shrink it over a bit and then shrink this down. So this could represent the latest posts and the latest projects. and then the about section as well. Probably a bit more text on that. Um, and then these would represent a link to um, all the posts and all the projects. So like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna leave that is, as is for now. Let me zoom out a bit. All right, so this looks good for the home page. Uh, this this application is going to be fairly simple. Um, be sure to copy over the arrows and lines because that's how we are going to show the flow of our app. So let me shrink these down just a bit. So this one will represent uh, where the user starts. So if they land on the page, so I'm going to Gonna hit A and drag this out. Whoops, let me zoom in a bit. Hit the A key and then select the anchor point and drag it over. And then I'll just bring this to line up like so. That looks good. Let me move that down a bit. Perfect. So when a user lands on our site, they'll see a little about section, uh, a little about us and then links to a few posts and a few projects, these would go directly to the product or the show page or the post show page or the product show page. And then the links in the navigation would go to uh, the product or the post index and the project index. So let's represent that. This could represent both the projects and the post page. So I'm going to do this for now. Uh, let's be sure to write some text. I'll say home. And let me, whoops, shrink down the size a bit. And change the color. 
or the eyedropper tool. There we go. And actually, let's change it to a bold font. Beautiful. All right, so we'll have the home page. This will be the uh, post page, actually. I'm, I'm going to call this articles. And then the projects. And then we're also going to need one more for the contact form or the contact page. So let's copy that over and do contact. Perfect. So now let's uh, show how they'll flow through this. So if they click on the navigation, they'll go, let me grab the anchor point. So from the home page, they have the option. Whoops. Let me grab these two anchor points and drag this out. And again, whoops. There we go. To do that, I'm just hitting the A key, selecting these two anchor points, and then holding shift and dragging. So I'll do that and I'll also grab the arrow. I'm going to right click and transform, or reflect, and do the vertical. Whoops, I'm sorry. Transform, reflect, and do the horizontal to flip it upside down. There we go. Now let's drag the anchor points out a bit more. Let's go all the way to the contact page. And let's duplicate this by holding shift and option as you drag it over. Perfect. So they'll be able to click to the articles page or the projects page or the contact page, but they'll also be able to go to the article show or the project show. So let's find a page that represents uh, one of those. Uh, this one looks good because it's just going to be the article. So I'll just use this to represent that page. Pretty picky about how it lines up. So let's make sure it lines up on the grid. And then we'll just use the same one for the project show. And let's select both of the titles, bring those down and change them to articles show page and project show page. Awesome. Cool. We are rocking. All right. Now let's grab an arrow to represent. I'm just going to copy this that they can go. If they click on a article, uh, they will go to the article show page or they can go back. Uh, and the same for the projects page. Um, and then if they click on one of these, they'll go directly to the article show page or the project show page. So how I'm going to represent that is, let's see, I'm going to select this guy, do right click, reflect, and I'll do vertical this time, flip it over. Perfect. Now I'm going to grab these anchor points and drag it down, holding shift while I'm doing all this. All right, now let's grab one of these arrows and I'm going to do right click, transform, reflect, and let's do horizontal. That looks good. Let's make sure it's lined up, centered, and same for the projects. Beautiful. All right, this is looking good. The only, whoops, the only last thing um, there would be is a uh, contact success page or a thank you page. So let's get one that represents that. I'll go down to the confirmations and I'll just select this middle one, paste that in. Now let me bring up the grid again. Perfect. And let's copy the uh, title and the arrows and change the title to thank you page. Perfect. 
Um, and I'm actually going to hit the A key and select this uh, second arrow back up and delete that because really uh, they'll only see this page after they go through the contact and submit a message. All right, this is looking pretty good. One last thing we need to do um, that I forgot to add here is the sign in page. We're not gonna have a sign up page because uh, we are just gonna create one user and then we don't want anyone to sign up after that. The only reason we have users at all or user is so that uh, not you can only create a post or edit and destroy a post or project if you are signed in. That way nobody can mess with your site except for you. So let's get a page that represents the sign in. So let's go up to the forms. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in. Um, I'm gonna put it off to the side. Actually, I'm just going to put it down here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me copy this title. Sign in. And then uh, we are gonna have a few more pages, but only accessible after you have signed in. And those pages are going to be the new post and new project page, as well as the edit pages. All right, so let's copy that and I'll say new post, actually new article. Copy both those, new project. And then I'm going to copy both of those, bring it down a bit and say edit, edit article and edit project. Now let's copy those arrows, paste it in, beautiful. Okay, so after they sign in, let's turn that 90 degrees, they'll be able to do a new article or a new post, and they'll also be able to edit an article and edit, or I'm sorry, not post, a uh, project, and they'll also be able to edit an article and edit a project. The reason I am not linking going to link to this from the home page is because uh, the, a visitor never needs to see this sign in page. Uh, we are the only ones. So actually having to type in the URL to the sign in page shouldn't be a big issue. But after this, I think we are good to go. So let me delete these extra ones and make sure we got everything. So from the home page, we'll be able to visit the articles, the projects and the contact. Um, and then we'll be able to visit the article show and the project show. Uh, from the contact, they'll go to a thank you page. Um, also from the home, you can click directly to individual show or articles and individual projects. Um, if you sign in, you'll be able to create a new article or new project, and you'll be able to edit and edit an article and edit a project. So I think that is all uh, we need. So let me save this and in the next video we will begin creating our uh, low fidelity wireframes.